Hey Amazon, so this is the Shark Vertex Pro and this is the Shark Detect Pro. And today we are going to go ahead and give you a comparison of these two vacuums and we're going to tell you which one is the better vacuum for you. Now first off, the first thing that we do have to talk about here is going to be the size of these vacuums. Now the Detect Pro is a lot smaller than the Vertex Pro. The Detect Pro weighs in at... 2 pounds and 14 ounces, and here we are just going to round up. Whereas the Vertex Pro weighs in at 3 pounds and 13 ounces. Again, we are rounding up here. Now, one of the things that I do have to point out about the Vertex Pro is that since the Vertex Pro is noticeably larger, it does have a larger bin in it. So when you're out collecting, you know, your dirt or your dust with the Vertex Pro, the bin is going to be able to hold more dirt than the Detect Pro. Because with the Detect Pro, this bin is significantly smaller than the Vertex Pro. However, with the Detect Pro, you can always get the optional uh, automatic dock. And whenever you insert the vacuum into the dock, the dock will automatically clean out the Detect Pro and all of that dirt will be stored here inside of this larger bin which you can then just take over to the garbage and, and uh, throw everything out. Now one of the things about this bin is that even though you can let your dirt and your dust collect inside of this bin, the good thing about this bin is that there is an odor neutralizer. So even if you have your dirt in here for a few days, it's not going to stink up your apartment because you do have this odor neutralizer. Just keep in mind that the odor neutralizer, you do have to replace it from time to time. But again, once the uh, bin itself has been cleaned out, you can just attach it back onto the dock and you're good to go. Whereas with the Vertex Pro, you are going to have to manually clean out this bin every single time. But also with the Detect Pro, if you have the automatic dock, the dock not only cleans out your bin, it also keeps your vacuum fully charged. So every time that you reach for this vacuum, it's going to be fully charged and it's going to be empty out. Whereas with the Vertex Pro, whenever you're going to charge this vacuum up, you do have to manually plug it in. Now, when it comes to the battery life of these vacuums, both of these vacuums have an advertised battery life of 60 minutes. However, that advertised battery life of 60 minutes is with both of these vacuums running while they're in their eco mode. And that's also while these vacuums are in their handheld mode. However, if you were to use these vacuums with their motorized heads, as in how you were actually use these vacuums, let's say 95% of the time, with the Vertex Pro, this vacuum has an advertised battery life of 46 minutes while in eco mode, while while in floor mode or if you were to use this vacuum while in carpet mode while in eco mode this vacuum is only going to last you for 30 minutes whereas with the detect pro if you were to use this vacuum with its motorized head attached and while it's in its automatic mode it's going to be good for around 40 minutes so plainly said yes the detect pro does have significantly better battery life than the vertex pro but also one of the very important things that I do have to point out about the form factors of these vacuums is that yes, the Vertex Pro is larger and it is heavier than the Detect Pro. But also something that I've noticed about this vacuum is that due to the center of gravity being very forward and out, I've noticed that after a while when you're trying to vacuum with the Vertex Pro, it does cause some wrist discomfort because again, that center of gravity is almost out. Here. Whereas with the smaller Detect Pro, yes, the Detect Pro is smaller and it is lighter, but more importantly, the center of gravity of this vacuum is more back here. So when you are vacuuming with the Detect Pro, I've noticed that it doesn't cost as much wrist pain because of the location of the center of gravity being more back here instead of being all the way out here like with the Vertex Pro. But now we're also going to talk about the overall volume of these two vacuums. Now, the Detect Pro does have better suction than the Vertex Pro. And surprisingly, it is a little quieter as well. However, both of these vacuums are a little on the louder side, especially if you were to compare them with other vacuums out there, like with, let's say, Dyson's vacuums. However, right now, we're just going to go ahead and do a quick test of the volume of these two vacuums. So here comes the Vertex Pro, I'm going to power it on. Now this is Eco Mode on the Vertex Pro. 
Now this is eco mode on the Detect Pro. So like you have just heard, the Detect Pro is noticeably quieter than the Vertex Pro while in eco mode. Now we're going to switch them over to their automatic modes. So here comes the Vertex Pro. So that was the automatic or medium mode on the Vertex Pro. Here comes the Detect Pro. So that was the detect mode while in its automatic or medium mode and now we're going to go into the boost mode on both of these vacuums. So that was boost mode on the Vertex Pro, here comes boost mode on the detect Pro. And that was a boost mode on the Detect Pro. Now, like you have just heard, the Detect Pro is overall a little quieter than the Vertex Pro, especially when it comes to their boost modes. And the Detect Pro does have more suction than the Vertex Pro. However, just keep in mind that with both of these vacuums, they are a little on the louder side if you were to compare them to the competition. However, one of the things that I do like about both of these vacuums is that with both of these vacuums, once you power them on, they stay on. Now this right now, again, this is the boost mode. We're just going to switch it over back to Eco on the Detect Pro just so that you can hear me. But as you can see, once this vacuum is turned on, it stays on. You don't have to constantly keep a trigger held down, which personally for me, I do feel is a big deal because with other cordless vacuums out there, if you have to constantly hold the trigger down, that can get a little uncomfortable. But thankfully, but thankfully with both of Shark's vacuums, once they're on, they're turned on. But also, I do want to give you a better look of the screens on these two vacuums. Now, with the Detect Pro, you have these four LED lights up here that tell you the status of your battery life. Whereas with the Vertex Pro, you have a much larger screen up top that gives you actual numbers. Now, this number here is only going to tell you 60, 70, 80, or 90 percent. It doesn't get all super granular like 65 percent or 63 percent or 58 percent, none of that. But now we're going to talk about the motorized heads that come included with both of these vacuums. Now, both of these motorized heads have the same width to them. However, the motorized head that comes included with the Detect Pro, it is smaller and it is lighter. And it also has built-in sensors that works with the vacuum itself to help adjust itself depending on what needs to be cleaned. Now, this motorized head is good for both hardwood floors and for carpets. Now, this carpet head only has a one roller in it, but we do have a very soft bristles here. We do have stiffer bristles here. And then we have these rubber fins here, which are the ones that are going to help get really deep into those carpets. Whereas with the Vertex Pro, this carpet cleaner head here is a lot larger. It is noticeably heavier. However, this carpet cleaner head actually has a two rollers in it. Now, we do have our front one here, and this one higher here has our much softer bristles, whereas the secondary roller here has our stiffer bristles like these here but we also have these rubber fins here now when you are using the vertex pro and if you have it set to its hardwood floor mode then both of these heads are going to spin equally as fast however if you were to have this vacuum set to carpet mode then this secondary head here is going to start spinning a lot faster so that it can get deeper into those carpets just keep in mind that if you do use this vacuum while in carpet mode then that is going to drain the battery life faster because you are sacrificing some of your battery life to spin this mo this uh, roller here but one of the things that I do like about this larger carpet cleaner head here is that we do have this rubber bumper on the front, which personally I do like because it does help protect your furniture 
when you're vacuuming. Whereas with the Detect Pro, unfortunately, there is no rubber stopper on the front. So if you are going to be vacuuming with this carpet cleaner head here, you do want to make sure that you don't bang it into your furniture. Personally, I just wish that there was like a strip of rubber here on the front, but unfortunately, it's not there. But also, another thing that I like about the Vertex Pro that isn't found on the Detect Pro is that the Vertex Pro does come included with a bendable neck. So this bendable neck is going to make it easier for you to get under your stuff, like let's say uh, your sofa or like let's say your bed. However, due to the carpet cleaner head's thickness, you are going to have a harder time getting under uh, lower appliances. But also, another thing with this collapsible neck is that you can actually bend it and this is your storage position. Whereas with the Detect Pro, this vacuum does not come included with a bendable neck. However, this vacuum is overall lighter and just smaller than the Vertex Pro. And if you absolutely want to, you can always get a bendable neck as a separate accessory. However, if you want to, you can always store your vacuum like so because that is what this little hook is for. But finally, we want to talk about the included non-motorized accessories that come included with both of these vacuums. Now, with the Vertex Pro, you only get this crevice tool here, and you can either attach it directly into the vacuum itself, or you can always attach this crevice tool into the neck attachment. Whereas with the Detect Pro, you actually get two non-motorized attachments included. With the Detect Pro, you also get your Curvus tool, which again, you can attach directly into the vacuum itself, or you can attach it onto its long neck attachment. And you also get this secondary non-motorized head here, which does have bristles on the front. And this is the one that you might want to use if you want to do any vacuuming, like on, let's say, the stairs or inside of your car, or if you have have any um, furniture or upholstery. All right, but with all that being said, both the Shark Vertex Pro and the Shark Detect Pro are very versatile vacuums. However, with the Detect Pro, this vacuum is going to give you an overall better experience for multiple reasons. Now, first off, the Detect Pro is noticeably smaller and lighter than the Vertex Pro, and it also has better suction than the Vertex Pro, and it's also a little quieter than the Vertex Pro as well. And also, if you were to get the automatic dock with the Detect Pro and then the automatic dock on this vacuum is going to number one keep your bin empty at all times and it's also going to keep this vacuum charged and ready for you so with the Detect Pro anytime that you need your vacuum is going to be ready to go at any time. And also with the Detect Pro, like I mentioned earlier, since this vacuum, it is smaller and it is lighter, but also thanks to the overall design of this vacuum, since its center of gravity is more back up back here, then you aren't going to get any wrist pain after you use this vacuum for a while. And then there's also the overall battery life of this vacuum. If you were to use this vacuum while in automatic mode, then the battery life of this vacuum is going to be good for around 40 minutes. So overall, you are going to get a better experience with the Detect Pro than you would with the Vertex Pro. Now, the Vertex Pro is also a very versatile vacuum. And personally, the thing that I really like about the Vertex Pro is going to be the collapsible neck that comes included with it because it is going to make it easier for you to get under things like, let's say, your sofa or your mattress. The only thing that you want to look out with the Vertex Pro is that this vacuum is heavier also, this vacuum is louder, and the battery life of this vacuum isn't as good as with the battery life on the Detect Pro. But the really important thing that a lot of people will probably miss with the Vertex Pro is that since due to the center of gravity of this vacuum being down here and forward, I have noticed that after like, let's say 15 or 20 minutes of vacuuming, the center of gravity of this vacuum can lead to some wrist pain.